I was asked to create a series going over all the basic features and functionalities of Obsidian. I think Daily Notes is the perfect entry point to Obsidian. So in today's basics of Obsidian video, we will have a look at how you can set up and use Daily Notes. Filling Daily Notes will not only allow you to seamlessly build a database, but will also help in automatically allowing you to leverage the true power of Obsidian. This approach is very similar to Rome Research. Alright, let's get started. For this video, we'll be using Obsidian version 0.7.4. It's an early insider build. So if there's anything different in settings, it is because of this. So the very first step we look at is how to enable the plugin if you've not already done so. So for me, the plugin is already active. You can see here open today's note, but if it's not active for you, all you need to do is click the settings icon over here, select plugins and scroll down to daily notes. Here you'll be able to find this switch. All you need to do is press this switch and switch it on. And now because it's on, I can see the extra settings that are there in the plugins section of daily note settings. Now let's have a look at all the options that are available to us. The very first option that we have is date format. What this does is it allows you to set your desired date formats for the title of the daily notes. Let us have a look at the format reference document to see all the available syntaxes that we can use. The very first syntax format is the month format. Then comes the quarter format, then day of month format, then day of year format, then day of week format. Then you have your week of year format. You have your era year. You have your week year. You have your, if it's AM, PM, if it's hours, minutes, seconds, fractional seconds, or if you want a certain time zone, you have all these options that are available to you. So if you want to set something really unique, let's just think of something. We'll definitely use era. Um, okay. So what we'll do is we'll first start with the year, um, year options are these, let's do this. So if I want to, for example, I want my year in a normal format, what I'll do is I'll just put that here. So why, 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 why it starts off like that. Let's add an era after that, uh, for era, it is NN. So NN 2020 AD, then, uh, which month is it? Let's do um, MO because it's the first month. So it should show sixth month. So MO. And if I want to even include the quarter, I can probably have something like, uh, let's do day of the month. So let's do DO. Actually, let's write rid of this. Let's do DO. Uh, so 25th because today is the 25th. And the month we'll do, what option can we do? Let's have it in short format. So MMM. Now pay attention. This is MMM is in capital. This case sensitive. So you need to be careful of that. So 25th, let's do one more M because I like it in full. So 25th, June, 2020, AD. Let's have it at that. And now I'll just press enter. I close this. Now, if I go and I click open today's note, you can see the title is exactly as I set it. So what this shows is that you can format the dates in the title of daily notes to your preference. And as you can see, the list is pretty exhaustive and it's pretty wide. Let's look at the second option now. So again, we open settings, we come to plugins under plugins, daily notes is on. And now we'll have a look at new file location. So the next option is called new file location. What new file location allows you to do is you can just specify a sub folder or subfolder here. So for example, let's say journal and all the new daily notes will be saved to this journal folder. So let's see how that works. I'll close it. Now, as soon as I click open today's note, you'll see that I'll get an error. Fail to create daily note folder. Journal folder was not found. So to fix that, all you need to do is you need to come here, click new folder and we'll call the new folder exactly as we had specified there journal. And now if I click open today's note, you'll see that it's created inside the journal folder. So this is all that it does. Now let's have a look at the other option. The next option is called template file location. With this setting, you can specify a template. However, as of right now, please note that the templates in the current form are static. What that means is that when you specify a template, Obsidian will in essence clone your note and create a new daily note based on that. When I had started using Obsidian, I used to use this feature a lot. I no longer use it because I find certain shortcomings with this feature. I will just show you what those shortcomings are as well as how it works. 
So the very first thing we'll do is we'll create a template. We'll name the template file as template.md. I know not very original, but you can name it whatever you want. If you wanted to put this in a folder, you could just do folder slash template.md and it would do it in that. So let's just create this first file. I'll close it. We'll create a new file. We'll name the file template. MD, which stands for Markdown, is the general extension which Obsidian uses. So automatically, this file, which is now saved as template, which we've titled template, will be template.md. So over here, let me just paste a template that I had created. If you remember, this was a template that I had shared in my very first video that I had made. Now, if you can see, this is a very static template. What this means is that whenever I need to for example, every morning I might want to have a look at what I'm grateful for or what could make today great and, you know, fill all this in, then fill what meals I've had, fill what things I've had and all that. Basically, it's a very static template that you can very easily replicate. So let me just delete this file. Yes, delete. Now let's create the new file. So I'll just click open today's note and it'll create a new note. Now you can see it has automatically auto filled all the things it has in essence cloned the same template over here as well. Now, if I fill in details over here, like for example, slept six hours, 22 minutes or something, you can see it's not affecting the template file at all. It's just affecting this file. But if I was to change something in the template file, it would be cloned in all the new files as well. So for example, let's just say, um, let's just say I am great at blah, blah just as an example. So what that will do is let's go back. Let's delete this. Delete. Let's create the note again. So I'll click create note. Now you can see this is auto filled because it clones the template file exactly. So let's get rid of that. Now what I like using is actually something else. So I'll just show you what I use. We'll get rid of this. And over here, we will just put OB test or I could just put my day template from here. I could get it and it would automatically fill it in. Now you can see a few things. I have a script which automatically fills this in. So this is using keyboard maestro. It's a software in Mac. If you want, I can do a video on that as well. So as you can see, this template is more dynamic. It auto generates yesterday's date as well as tomorrow's date. Now, obviously, because we've messed around with the date setting, it will not work exactly as intended. But what you could do is you could just click tomorrow and it will take you to tomorrow's file. You could go to yesterday and it will take you to yesterday's file. And very seamlessly, you will have a transition over here, basically. Then below that, I use something called as Internet Exploration. It's a file where I like to store all the things that I've read or come across on the internet. And what this is doing is that it's just referencing things that I have looked at today. Similarly, for week plan, I have a certain week plan that I like to fill in. So this is getting today's week plan because today's Thursday. Then you have your notes, you have your to-dos, you have your inbox, you have how many hours I've slept, how many hours I've worked and the static content, the rest of the static content that I had done. So that is basically all that daily notes is about. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestions or comments, then please leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.